Alright guys, welcome back to some more Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So, we just got another perk, so I'm gonna hit this meditation point. Uh, where was that at? It was through here and up. Just to equip that perk. And then also, we'll just rest real quick too to get our full stims back. Perks. Okay, so we've got resilience, which increases our block, and then dexterity increases our throw damage. So, we will have to... Breathe. I have to remember to th throw our lightsaber more. Alright. So, let's continue on down. Two, three, four, five stormtroopers. We've got a chest. Any of them want to come up here? No, this guy. Come on. Alright, what else we got? A shield guy. I want... Nope, I don't want to drop down. You won't escape me. Are you sure? Okay, I guess we're just going to go down. Get him. Why am I not dropping off of this? So weird. You are not. Shield guy. Oh, not pay attention. on this guy. I feel like combat wise, this is a lot better than the first game. It's awesome. He tripped over the uh, case. That was cool. What does the Empire want with a backwater planet like Kobo? Through cuts. What'd you find? Nice job, BD. The short straw. Imperial supplies addressed to Squadron 013. The shipment was meager in the first place, the rations already exhausted. These troops were disorganized, disengaged, and desperate. Um, yeah, so I feel like the combat you, in the first game, when you were in groups like that, they would kind of come at you just one at a time. Hmm, what do we do here? Hmm. 
It's kind of like a shortcut move thing. Why would we want that? Is it those those stormtroopers fighting those battle droids? But yeah, in the first game, in Jedi Fallen Order, I think it was still pretty easy. Oh crap! So we're out of stims, and we got one of these rhinoceros or triceratops-looking guys. That's definitely how we go. Hmm. A bunch of these pillars we can destroy too. Can I, uh... Can I target this guy and just throw that at him? What does that get me? I mean, it took away some of his health. And then force slow. I just, I don't... So that gauge has to fill up. But I haven't used it in so long. Um, can we do this? No. I wanna... Oh, that's nice. It just used up all our force. I wanna see if I can knock that pillar down on this guy. Still can't use any force. I wonder if there's a perk that lets you, uh, regenerate your force faster. That'd be cool. Let's trying to do that. Let's just do this. Whoa. It did not work as intended. Oh, he's doing his thing. Oh, he's spitting something at me. I thought I was free of that. I'm probably going to die here. Which sucks, because... we got a lot of... Uh, Get back up. We're gonna go rest and come back and fight this guy. Oh man. Battle droids. Lethal. I don't know if this is any closer than the other. Point or not. Commander, I don't even know if it was worth the 20 seconds that took for the small amount of XP. Let's stop here. We're gonna stop here. Okay. All set, BD. Full health, full stims. Let's go fight our Triceratops thing. Can we just sneak? Oh, what is this crap? I wonder if we can just sneak by these guys. Yep. Spread these guys out a little more. That works much better than last time. I hope that hurt. Dead. Bad timing on that block. Got a little glitchy. Interesting. So the pillars stay destroyed. So what's that? That the rock that I used is gone as well. Kind of stinks. That 
this rock here. Does hitting him in the head do more damage? No? Oh, he's got a kick. Didn't know if I saw that last time. Check it out. The Gremlick. So this is different than the other one that we fought? Oh, no, that's... Okay, a Bramlick is the meatball thing. When approached, the spines to cover a Bramlick's entire spherical body extend outwards, deterring all threats. As such, they are known as spikers by the locals. They are easily dispatched, but are mostly content to let strangers be if they are, in turn, left in peace. Uh, yeah, spikers... Maybe is a better name than Meatballs. I don't know. Meatballs is kind of cool too, though. Mm -hmm. So we got another pillar that we can pull out. Oh, we should have some seeds here. More uh, Felucci and yellow. Okay. Oh, more seeds here. Golden light moss. I don't know why it keeps popping that up. Because it doesn't do anything. It just keeps telling you they can be found at the cantina. What is the deal with this guy? More space chickens. I don't like those things. So down here is nothing. I think that's definitely the path forward. So let's see I need help. on what we got in here. Can I open that? This thing's got your name all over it. Uh, work, diligence baby. pommel. All right, cool. So we've got, I think it was a diligence switch emitter. We got something else diligence, so. What's up, buddy? Yeah, let's see. Vile Maw Pools. The pools are filled with volcanic mud that bubbles up through fissures from deep beneath the surface. Bile Malls frequently lounge in these pools, becoming covered in it and fortified by the substance. This second skin is very similar to the balsuck columns that define the landscape. That's kind of cool. So they, uh... Or roll around in the mud, and then the mud hardens on their skin. And then they have more protection. I don't know about these, uh... Rocks that slowly go back in. In my humble opinion, it seems kind of stupid. There's another one right there. So does that one? Of course, they both go back in. And pull you out. Pull you out. Pull you out. Let's see if we can do this. Tricky, tricky. It's like a mud slide right there. Portals roll. Oh no, it's not. It's just weird looking rock. Oh, it is mud. It's just not slidey. Is that a technical term? Slidey mud? What is this? <coughs> it's hard to breathe. So. I just don't want to walk in the... Really weird. The force doesn't really do anything. Can we chop them? 
No. Oh, but they kind of swarm you. Hmm. Well, I feel like that is teaching us a lesson for something coming up. Don't know what that stuff is, but definitely doesn't look safe. Yep. So the ground is covered. And we need to get over there. Oh, and there's a shiny over there. I definitely want that. Another data disc. I like that we're getting these data discs, but. So I drop down. Um, I like that we're getting the data disks, but I really want some more. Ooh, how are we going to get back? I didn't necessarily think this through. Hmm. Let's see if we can make this jump. Oh, okay. This makes it easier. This fun. Uh, I like that we're getting these data disks, but I want some more crap. Some more priorite. Little, you think this substance has anything to do with the array? Hobo dust. I mean, it doesn't look very dusty. Is that progression? Probably. But yeah, if we get some more priority, then we can go. Oops, don't want to get there. Um, go and get the uh, security card. Hmm. Anything else hidden in here? No. I mean, whatever that's... Uh, the Kobo dust doesn't really seem to do much. I suppose if you were to stand in it for a while, maybe? So this is the work of Santari Kree. If the rest of Z's story is true, the key to Tantalor should be around here somewhere. Hmm. More space chickens. time 18 minutes we'll do a little exploring no cutting through this stuff Kobo barrier impenetrable barrier of highly magnetized dust like matter standard manipulation is ineffective against its structure proving resistant even to lightsaber strikes how do we know this well, we do now. Okay, so there's more of that dust. Where'd those space chickens go? Can they walk through this stuff? I mean, I can probably double jump, then maybe grapple over there. Let's try it, just since the the one point's like right here. The meditation point. Okay. I swear I saw a couple of space chickens. Hmm. What do we got here? Enter. Climb this? Yeah. Climb the ceiling. Okay. Is this? Okay, this is just how we got or get around back to here. Can't get us through the top there.
really loving the grapple. Just makes everything feel really fluid. Oh, wait. We could grab onto those. I mean, really, Cal? You can't grab that? into that central tower. Maybe that's where we'll find answers. Possibly. Possibly. All right, so we've got... We've got a workbench. What is that? Weird glitchy textures here. So we got some more of this impenetrable stuff. More of the Kobo dust down there. Alright, we have a grapple. For some reason, I feel like we should go down there. Does it look like that gear is something we can pick up? Maybe the grapples are just in case we fall in, I don't know. Yeah, it is something. Looks old. Look at this. Oh, so we picked up a data disk from that gear. Let's see what the grapple point then. Nothing more here, right? Nothing more, yep. And if we get in there too much, then that stuff gets us. So that's probably just to get back. I will get a whole way we can go here. I'm gonna use the workbench. Oh, what do we got, BD? I don't know if we've really picked anything new up. Starter paint for the primary. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Starter mix. That's too blue. Um, let's do this Coruscant paint. And we'll go with Coruscant white for that. And then secondary. Looks kind of cool with one of these grays. Textured black rubber, our plastoid gray, this meridium, two tone dark, real alloy. Let's do the plastoid gray accent. Let's go blue, and then BD is New always you, well BD. kept. Same great attitude. Hmm, okay, I guess our blue's a little bit lighter. What do you think? Change your style? Let's see if we can do a lighter blue for your accent. Um, not really. Eh, maybe that matches us. And I feel like our secondary color. I like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I think maybe we match a little bit better now. All right, guys, we're going to call this episode right here. We're right at the 25-minute mark, so... Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you guys for some more Jedi Survivor.